Hi, I've been asked by a number of customers how we can help with controlling USB devices, both on Mac OS and on Windows 10. So I'm just gonna have a quick look at that today. If you go into your profile section within the Workspace ONE UEM console, I'm gonna go to profiles, add a new profile. The flow for Mac OS and Windows is very similar. So I'll just look at Windows for the moment. Go to Windows Desktop, which typically means Windows 10. I have my device profile. If I jump straight to the restriction section, Look at that. Various restrictions for Windows 10, you know, if you're going to disable Cortana, Bluetooth devices, the camera, those sort of things. But if we come down here, you'll see that USB option. So as you can see, it's, it's relatively um, limited in functionality at the moment. So it's not granular, it's not sort of diving down into different USB devices and, and different vendors, different devices. So it might be possible to do something a bit more granular using CSPs. So if this is something you're familiar with, um, through the Workspace ONE console, we have the ability to take a CSP and then basically using the payload here, deliver that down to the machine. So what I would imagine was, and I've not played this very much though, is that if we go and find what oh, is relating to, of course, the device is mentioned a lot. Device installation. I scroll down for that. You can see here <clears throat> that they're basically allowing and preventing different uh, device IDs and instances. So I thought probably playing around with CSPs, you could get a little bit more granular, um, as well as using, you know, tool from carbon back or, or other third parties out there, there would be more granular USB control. But for the purposes of natively what we can do for Workspace ONE, it really is about this restrictions payload. As I say, um, very similar payload for Mac OS. But as you can see, it is something that's possible on both Windows 10 and Mac OS. Thanks for your time. Hope that was of use.